Hey Food Heroes, Ms. Anslow and Everett here with another Oregon State University Food Hero Featured Food Lesson. I'm excited you're here today. We are learning all about broccoli. In this video, you will learn something fun about broccoli, why eating broccoli is good for us, you'll discover something new, and at the end, I'll share a delicious recipe that you can try making at home. So let's get started. In Oregon, most broccoli crops are harvested between the end of June and the end of October. When we eat broccoli, we are eating flower buds or florets. Of course, we can eat the stems too. They're delicious. With broccoli seeds, you can go small and eat microgreens all year long. Growing these tiny plants is a fun way to get big flavor for soups, salads, and sandwiches. I bet you know that broccoli is in the vegetable group. Did you know that there are broccoli cultivars? Cultivar is the word we use to describe crossing one variety of a plant with another. Farmers have crossed broccoli with Chinese broccoli to get broccolini. Another cultivar happened when broccoli was crossed with cauliflower. Now we have broccoliflower. Any way you cross it, broccoli and the cultivars are delicious and nutritious. Broccoli is so nutritious. When you eat broccoli, you get many vitamins that help your body in hundreds of ways. Let's focus on three vitamins and one health benefit for each. Broccoli is a good source of vitamin C. That helps your immune system. You get vitamin K, keeping your blood healthy. And you get vitamin A. One function of vitamin A is keeping your skin and eyes healthy. Broccoli also gives your body minerals such as potassium, calcium, and magnesium. We have talked about how potassium helps your heart beat and calcium keeps your bones strong. Magnesium has over 300 functions in your body. Here are a few ways magnesium helps you. It works with calcium for keeping bones strong, helps muscles to work, and also helps your body make energy and use protein. Before we get started, let's remember to be food safe and ask an adult for help. Let's wash our hands for 20 seconds with warm water and soap. That will kill the germs and keep us food safe. Today we are making sesame broccoli. This is so tasty. Ingredients include sesame seeds, sesame or vegetable oil, broccoli, whichever it is about to wash, water, vinegar, soy sauce, sugar, cornstarch, and red pepper flakes if you'd like to add some spice. This is a quick recipe to prepare. Simply saute the broccoli. While that's cooking, mix the sauce using the water, soy sauce, sugar, and cornstarch. Then add the sauce to the cooked broccoli, cook for a few minutes, and it's ready to serve. Go to foodhero.org to find out more about growing broccoli microgreens. You will find the sesame broccoli recipe and coloring sheets. Oh, Everett, are you ready for a joke? What do you call a dinosaur who eats veggies? A brachiosaurus. <laughs> Great job today, food heroes. You've earned your broccoli stamp. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.